Hi, it's Nobby. I'm at Q Yasuda Garden and going to Japanese Sword Museum now. The museum is over there. Okay, let's get started. Japanese Sword Museum is located in Q Yasuda Garden. The Japanese sword, domestically known as katana, has been a symbol of samurai for a thousand years. However, after the sword abolishment edict in the Meiji period, the original role of katana ended. Apart from a weapon, katana has been worshipped and a symbol of authority since ancient times. After World War II, katana was considered a weapon to be confiscated by the military stationed in Japan. It has been also considered a work of art now. There are many people to see this precious katana. I am not a katana specialist, nor do I have any knowledge of it. So, I'm going to talk about something else with these katana videos. Perhaps many people are interested in funerals in other countries. However, many of them rarely have the opportunity to hear about them. So, I'm going to talk about my grandma's funeral. When I arrived at the funeral's venue, a man spoke to me. I didn't remember who he was, but I pretended to know him as I didn't want to be rude to him. He looked so happy that he gave me a big hug, which is unusual in Japan. Oh, you still remember me! That's amazing! My grandparents were landlords of an apartment and he lived there when he was a college student. My mom and he were like brother and sister. But when I met him, the last time, I was just four years old, so it's no surprise that I didn't remember him. At the end of the funeral, we see the funeral car off. It had a terrible snowstorm that day. Unfortunately, I was wearing a thin jacket over a short-sleeved black dress. I was nearly frozen holding my grandma's photo in the snowstorm. In Japan, cremation is not mandatory by law, but many local governments restrict burial by ordinance for sanitary and other reasons, and the Japanese chose cremation almost 100%. There are some items that should not be put in the coffin together. For example, glasses. When the deceased goes to heaven, you may wish to have their glasses with them. However, items that are left to burn when cremated cannot be placed in the coffin. During the cremation, Funeral attendees often have a meal including sushi. It was a bit awkward to eat together with the relatives I didn't know at all during the cremation. Forty-nine days after the funeral, we have another gathering at the temple. A monk chants the sutra, followed by memories of the deceased. The monk said, she was so kind and warm-hearted that she shared her homemade pickles with me. As long as I know, my grandma was the last person to do that. She was very strict. So, I felt something strange about the story. 
Meanwhile, my aunt was sitting in front of me. Her shoulders were quivering. After the ceremony, she burst it out laughing. That's not my mom. He talked about someone else. Perhaps he had so many ceremonies that he did not know who he was talking about. During the monk's story, my aunt did not point out to him that he was talking about a different person. As a consequence, we listened to his long speech about a stranger for almost half an hour. Thanks for watching the video. Give me likes and subscribe to my channel. I'm also taking requests. Leave your comments. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Matane.